Sisters, it's Allie Hardesty and Olivia Cara. We are here today to tell you guys about some of the events that took place at EDC. If you don't know what EDC is, it is Electric Daisy Carnival, mm -hmm. which happens in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're Three day. Gonna, we're going to get to that. Shit, yeah. Not California, Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> It's a three-day rave slash music festival that happens in Las Vegas, and it gets lit. It gets turned. It gets you know? lit as hell. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we have some stories to share. A lot. A lot of stories. That's oh. why we had to break them up into two separate videos. So when you're done watching this video, make sure to check out her video. It will be linked below. Subscribe to her channel. Give her a like. All that fun stuff. You know what to do. So we're just going to start off from, I guess, how we decided to go and how we formed our squad because that's kind of a crucial part True. of the story. We met around a year ago and we've been friends and we were going to VidCon with each other and we yeah. both are into raving and then we wanted to go to EDC. We figured out that it was basically the week before VidCon so we were like, why don't we just make it one huge trip and go to both? So we're like, it's lit. And we were just planning on going with each other originally, but then her friend Chase wanted to go. And then... Okay, so on my channel, I have a video that I did. It's my most recent Omegle video, and it's called Asking for Flash for Flash. And while I was on Omegle, getting turned, meeting people, trying to just make a video, I met this guy that actually lives an hour away from me, and he was so happening to go to EDC too, so we kept in touch and he needed somewhere to stay. Olivia hits me up and she was like, hey, would you be down? I met this guy in Omegle, he can stay with us. And at first I was like, what? Like, <laughs> we met this guy in Omegle. It's kind of sketchy, like, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's up to you, whatever. I'll trust your judgment and stuff. And she's like, I barely know, I've never met him, but like, <laughs> he seems cool. And I was like, all right, because like, that's just how I am too. So he ended up being super lit. So it was like the four of us, we were all a rave fam. And on our way there, stuff started already happening. So we're driving <laughs> her car, Chase is driving her car, yeah. and then she's in the back seat with Sebastian. That's the guy that she met on Omegle. Mm -hmm. That's Omegle Bay who came with us. We're in the car, we're getting lit. We have the fidget spinners going. Mm -hmm. We're like putting them on our nose and whatnot. We're trying to do tricks. And then all of a sudden to the left of us, we see another car and they're going to EDC. It's really obvious because they're blasting EDM and because they have it like all over their car and paint. Mm -hmm. They roll down their window and we roll down ours because we're like, okay, it's awesome. Like we're both going to EDC. Let's talk. Let's chill. Like it's just a thing that people do kind of like on the way to Vegas, I guess, on the road to Vegas. Reminder, I'm in the back with Sebastian and they look at us and they're like, here, take this. And they have a white cup and it's obviously full of a drink. So we're assuming it's alcohol, obviously. It could have been Sprite. We don't know. But either way, Sebastian leaped out the window to grab the cup. And this is another moving vehicle next to us. And we're on the highway going like 80 miles an hour. So imagine going on the highway, 80 miles an hour, two cars next to each other. And one of our people, he's like literally on the opposite side. So I'm next to the people. Sebastian is next to me on this side. And he hops over me, like literally hits me to get out of the window window puts his entire body out of the window I'm not kidding I she's was crying I was like crying. I was holding on to his legs and the rest of his body was just hanging in between the cars on the freeway. Just imagine like a body hanging in between two cars on a freeway. And the other car was swerving because the guy was paying closer attention to trying to get his friend close yeah. to us to pass the drink than he was the road. And it was really, really scary. This happened so quickly. Like we didn't even know he was going to do it. He didn't announce it. He just literally leaped over Olivia and Olivia's like, ah! don't die. And she's like <laughs> screaming and crying. And then he wasn't able to grab the drink, but they kept trying. Trying, and then finally we're like Chase just keep driving drive faster like Sebastian I, no just. no no our cars almost got hit like both of ours it was just it was bad like it was so scary that I was like literally crying it was intense and this is my first impression of this guy too and he turned out to be super lit but at first I was like <laughs> who, who is, is this <laughs> I literally met him like I don't know half an hour before this and we were in the car also he showed up with like about 200 chicken wings <laughs> random thing of our lives and we're gonna get into the food part of this later on It'll probably oh be my on my video god i don't even want to talk about that yet like get i ready. am not ready so that's the first thing that happened during this edc adventure and then when we get to the hotel so our hotel was already paid for in advance like we had this thing ready to go like a very very long time ago we've been planning this so we roll up to the scene and we figure out that we have to pay some sort of fee and it's like 250 bucks and we're like okay whatever we'll all just split it four ways then we figure out that it's 250 per night plus all these other fees. So they're basically trying to charge us close to a thousand dollars. Yeah. So we're like, this isn't happening. Like, no, that's basically as much as our hotel is for all three or four nights. Yeah. We thought we were just gonna kind of like walk in, get to our room, not have to do anything. Everything's all prepaid. And then they hit us with basically like a thousand dollar bill and like, we're all 
taken aback. Like we didn't all prepare for that. So we're not like all just trying to be like, yeah, here's a thousand dollars. So it just got really confusing. And like they had to call the managers over. We were trying to get like fees waived and all this shit. Like, oh. We had to tell them about the fridge. We went up to the room and then Chase, he was trying to get a fridge for us so we could go grocery shopping, which didn't end up happening. Wish it did, but it didn't. It probably would have saved us if it did. <laughs> would have saved us. Food poisoning. Well, yeah. Chase, he tells him that he needs a fridge for his insulin. That way they'll just give us a fridge for free. We won't have to charge our room for the fridge. Pro tip. Pro tip. Life hack. You were like, wait, what's insulin? I was like, oh, for his diabetes. And mm -hmm. she's like, Chase, you're diabetic. Why didn't you tell me? I was so dead serious too. I was like, how could you not tell me this? And I was like, shh. We're not gonna get our free fridge. <laughs> <laughs> so after we were chilling in the hotel for a while, we decided to walk over to CVS to get some essentials like water, etc. We didn't get food yet because we were like, oh, we'll just go the next day. Not understanding how little time you actually had to chill. Like it's basically right. eat, sleeve, rave, repeat, except for you literally eat whatever you can, including leftover, spoiled, rotten McDonald's. But yeah, so we went to CVS and then when we were there, we saw a couple guys, well, Chase did. And we're gonna insert a picture of him on the screen right here. These two guys go up to Chase and they're like, are you the guy from Neighbors? Dra Drave Fran <laughs> Dave Franco. Okay. Dave Franco. And he was like, oh yeah, like I'm just chilling. And they were like, no way, oh my God, whatever. And then he comes back over by us. And so it's the four of us chilling and the two guys come back up to us and they invite us to this like elite secret little rave. Elite. Pre-party, <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, like I think, I don't even know if they were really invited to that. I think it was just Probably like an not. excuse to talk to us. Yeah. And so I was standing closest to them when they came up and they invited us. So I got their numbers just to be nice and everything. And they were like, make sure all four of you guys come. Because they honestly just wanted Dave Franco to come because they thought it was literally Dave Franco. <laughs> and so they kept blowing up my phone and texting me, asking where we were and if we wanted to come hang out with them and everything. And I literally wrote back and I was like, sorry, like Dave and I fell asleep. Like we're just <laughs> chilling. And they're like, oh, okay, for sure. Like they really thought it was him, like 100%. 100%. Like he can genuinely. <laughs> Pass for Dave. They probably went home and told all their friends, like, oh, we were about to party with Dave Franco, man. Yeah. Lit. So, day one, we get ready. We're all looking fire. We all have our outfits on, we're ready to go. And so, we head to the shuttle stops. And basically, this line took like three hours in a, over a hundred degree heat. Like, this stuff is intense. You don't really realize what you're getting yourself into before you go to EDC. Um, until you actually go and you're standing in 115 degree weather in a line for three hours with, with like no all water. these people and no water, yeah. So anyways, um, but we're in this line and we actually so happened to meet a ton of subscribers. Like Ali had a ton of subscribers in this line and it was so funny. Well, so did you. They yeah. only knew me because if you search rave, I'm like one of the only people that pop up because no one makes rave videos, but now yeah. we're doing that. So yeah. we got to the front of the line, finally we get on a shuttle. Finally. And then literally the shuttle took off with like only our basically our squad and like a couple other random people it was like six people because one guy jokingly was like oh let's just go and the shuttle driver took off so like you wonder why we're waiting for three hours basically like overheating about to have heat stroke because like these buses are just leaving with like five people on them like they're like i don't know maybe 20 percent full it made no sense i mean we were happy in the moment because yeah we're like, hey we can just get out of here faster exactly but the logic was so flawed like there were so many seats on the bus oh and our shuttle bus day one it had no air conditioning, None. no music, None. no aux cord, no bathroom. Day two and day three, it definitely made it better because they had that the other days. So our expectations were low and then they were raised, you know? So yes, yes, we finally yes. rolled to EDC. We're having a great time. We're vibing out. We were at Cosmic <laughs> Meadow and Base Pod, like the majority of the entire festival because mm -hmm. those were our definite. Amazing. Two faves, two favorites for sure. And then I ended up meeting up with a bunch of my other friends. Even in the shuttle line, I ran into so many people I knew from the Bay Area, like random people I haven't seen in years and like really close friends from back home. So it was just super weird because I've been raving for, I guess like, I don't know a year or two now but I didn't really realize I knew as many people as like I guess I do at raves or at least at this event where it was just coincidence anyway so we kind of merged squads with some other people and then in the midst of things after like an hour of being there mm -hmm. I got lost from her Sebastian and Chase Dave Franco just lost we tried so hard to keep each other but that's one thing about EDC you have to kind of realize it's like you're gonna get separated probably at some point but it is like a really safe place and everyone's really welcoming so if you do get lost like people usually like invite you into their squad or whatever no cell reception either there's this no. app called fire chat but it like only works maybe 10% of the time honestly you get the messages like super late so if you text someone like hey meet me at the water fountain or whatever they're not gonna get it until two hours later and yeah. by that time you won't even be you're there not at the water fountain. so it's just not reliable so they were stressed out looking for me I was stressed out looking for them but then we found her towards the end. We found you in the bleachers. 
Yeah. Yeah. True. And it got lit. We did. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. leaving day one, we realized that the shuttles were literally taking, like, no exaggeration, three to four hours. Exhausted, like, by the way. Yeah. And so our friend had an Uber lined up. It wasn't even really an Uber. It was, like, someone he knew <laughs> who drove Uber, but he was low-key going to come pick us up for, like, 40 bucks mm -hmm. on the low, like, off-duty and stuff. So we all piled in the Uber. Like, we did not fit. It was a little... What kind of car was it? Like, a Prius or something. It was a tiny-ass little... And we had like a whole like merged squad of people, like our squad and another squad. We were lap sitting. I was laying down. It was not comfy, like at all. But we was, got home in like a couple hours versus four, so. It, yeah, it was pretty bad. I was like squished <laughs> as hell. But I mean, at least we got home, right? And I just slept mm -hmm. the whole way home. Mm -hmm. This part makes me really bad. So fast forward through day two, so nothing, nothing really like. Stuff happened, but nothing that's like story time worthy where it was bad. Just basically an amazing trip overall, amazing mm -hmm. day of raving. But on the way back from day two EDC, we walked. We decided not to Uber back. I don't know why. I wish we freaking Ubered because... Well, I'll explain that in my story time. Okay, so we'll get to that actually. Yeah. So make sure you stay we're... tuned for part two. So we're walking and there's a sister hotel from the hotel that we were staying at, which was called The Wind. We walked through that. She was not with me at this point. She was with Sebastian. I was hanging out with Chase. So we're walking through the hotel and someone day one actually warned us that this might happen. It was another group of ravers who were staying in the same hotel. They said that on their way out, the hotel security people made them basically go back upstairs and change and put on clothes over their rave clothes. Because as you know, rave clothes, they're a little bit more revealing just because it gets super hot in these festivals and that's just the style. And like, you're not gonna wear a freaking long sleeve or like parka at a rave, you're a just not. Like you're just, <laughs> what, no. We said we we're gonna wear Crocs next year. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> our blisters are insane. Okay. It looks like someone took a knife to her ankle like that. Like it's basically ankle. The whole thing. So we're walking through the hotel and people are yelling at me, not not really people, the people who work there, which is dumb because it was they were causing a scene more than anything else of what was on my body. And you know, you can say what you want, but the point is there were people way less covered up than I was walking around that hotel to get mm -hmm. back to their rooms as well. I was not causing a disturbance. We were just quietly going back to our hotel. It wasn't that big of a deal. I don't understand what else I was supposed to do. This one lady in particular, she stops me but she tries to stop me and I'm just like, keep walking. And she's like, hey, you missed, stop. And so we stop and I turn around and she starts criticizing me. I, I wish so badly I could remember what she said exactly. It'll be in my vlog, which will, which will already be up on my channel she was now. She like, talking crap? No, she was literally like, oh, this is disgusting. Like she was looking at me like, oh put on some clothes type of thing. And Chase, he started getting hella defensive because that's my friend. He's like, no, don't talk to homegirl that way. You know what I'm saying? And so she tells me that I need to get a towel. She's gonna get a towel for me or whatever. And so I'm like, fine. I'm being super respectful. I'm just like standing there like to wait for her to grab the towel. And she's like, you can't stand there. Go over there. Like she basically wants me to go hide in the corner of shame and like sit there and wait. We had a right to be walking in the hotel just like any other person. So many people, how many people? Like 300,000, 400,000 people came for this festival. Yeah. We were not the only people in the hotel walking around like that. We were just exactly. frolicking around the building. We were just trying to get from point A to point B. Yeah. And then she calls for security on her little walkie talkie. This other guy comes over. He's like, what's the problem? It turns into this whole big thing. They honestly made it into such a big, like a big scene. Deal. Yeah. <laughs> they made it into a big scene when it yeah. was not that serious. Like we could have already been back in our hotel at this point. Exactly. And so then he's arguing with her and then she finally gets a towel for me. I just kind of grab it and I'm pissed at this point so I'm just holding it and she's like wrap it around you, your thong. Like she literally went thong like that and I was like it's not even worth it so I wrapped it around myself and then the guy even was kind of giving us a look like okay that lady's crazy. But yeah so he walked us back to the elevators and then he just let us go. He was chill but that happened. She basically tried to kick us out of the hotel and make it into a huge thing because I was naked. So that was how my day two ended which was basically also the start of day three because like I said these events you don't get back until 10 in the morning. So You sleep in the day, you party at night. You wake up, you get ready, and you go to EDC. Repeat. If you guys like this video be sure to let us know by giving it a big thumbs up. Check out part two on Olivia's channel. We're just going to continue on with the rave stories and our experience mm -hmm. and there's a lot more stuff coming So mm -hmm. get ready for it subscribe if you are new here turn on post notifications follow our social medias I will have them in the description box or on the screen comment below letting us know if you will be attending EDC next year Or if you were there or what you think about all this because I think a lot of people don't go to raves Yeah, and, and they they're don't like really interested get what they're like. yeah. in hearing about this because they just have never experienced it So yeah, exactly go over watch hers part two so you can continue on subscribe to her channel Give her a like all that fun stuff and we will see you guys over there. Later, alligators. Bye, guys. Bye.